welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. Up this week, I've got the part two of my collection acquisition. Uh, as I posted a week ago, I was able to purchase uh, a large collection of original Matchbox. Um, and in addition to the collection, got a, a couple other freebies, things I wasn't expecting. And this is one of them. Um, a nice original box model of yesteryear. Little little artwork loss there. Uh, this is the 1911 Daimler, later to be Chrysler. So this is a Y13. Uh, pretty nice little, little model here. Um, I think it might be missing something in the grill because I can see the post where this is held on. So in the picture, it's black. So I think maybe I'm missing a plastic piece or something in the grill. Nothing, nothing else in the box, so might just be missing from this. But no playwear on the model. It looks like it's in really good shape. Tires don't have any wear marks at all, so I don't think it was ever played with. But uh, pretty nice little piece. I don't collect the yesteryear. I think when you're when you get into collecting, there's some things you've got to say no to, <laughs> and uh, that was one part of collecting Matchbox that I just. I didn't get as excited about it, so um, I wasn't really interested in, in these, but again, I bought the entire collection as a whole, so uh, they threw in a couple of these extra things as freebies. In addition to that, um, got a couple of these 1992 issued uh, commemorative remakes or replicas, whatever you want to call them. Um, I collect a couple of these. I picked them up here and there for dollar, two dollars when I can find them. Um, they are different colors than the originals, but the castings and all that are, are pretty close to what the original character was. And I think most of these are original. Um, so they're got the original box, and most of them are still in the plastic. So not bad. A little finds there. Number seven milk truck and a, a nine. This is the fire truck. And I'm actually working on a restoration of one of the original models of these right now. Um, and that'll that'll be coming up here in a future restoration video. But not bad little finds. Um, I wasn't expecting the seller to throw all these in. So happy to get those as well. But now let's get to the, the meat and potatoes of why I bought this collection. And I think... For today, I'm going to go through uh, construction vehicles that are in this. So up first, got a number 70 uh, grit spreader salt truck. Um, this box is beautiful. Look at that. Not a crease, not a bend on it. All the tabs intact. Uh, looks really, really nice. And this truck, minty, fresh. Look at that. No play wear, no high edge wear. I don't think it was ever out of the box. A um, couple things that I was look for on these. Uh, some of these have black plastic for the, the little slider piece that's in here. And some of them have gray. And the gray has usually been harder to find for me. I don't want to pull this too hard because I don't want to break it. Um, but the original plastic piece is there. It's intact. A lot of times I'll find these broken. Um, and I don't remember if the gray or the black is harder to find, but this is a gray one and looks really, really awesome. So super great piece, uh, great buy. I, I purchased this collection for uh, several hundred dollars, which is a big investment. Um, but as it broke down with the number of cars I got, I paid about $13 per car for this collection. Uh, that's the box and the models. So. Here we got a number four. I think that's a steak truck. Yeah, steak truck. Uh, again, beautiful condition box. No bends, creases, all tabs are intact. Nice and stiff on the cardboard. And this model is gorgeous. Plastic is still shiny. No play wear, no edge wear, nothing. So I'm pretty positive that all of these were, were kept as collectibles. Um, these are not coming out of somebody's toy box. These are uh, original probably to how they were sold. So another great little find. Um, 
I started to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the, the pricing and stuff. The advantage you have uh, when you buy a larger group is obviously that you pay less per car. Um, some of these I have already, and they're going to be duplicates. Some of them I might trade um, or I might sell. But, uh, you know, you, you have the advantage of getting really low prices on cars when you buy uh, an entire lot as, as a whole. Um, the disadvantage, of course, is that you've got to have four or $500 to be able to purchase a large collection like this. And I know not everybody can do that. So this one here, original price sticker, four for a dollar. Man, what a deal, 25 cents a car. So, uh, and that store is Pennies. Sold at JC Pennies. hmm. So number 37, cattle truck. Um, box looks like it's in great shape. All the tabs are there, very little wear on it. Of course, we've got the cows still on sprue, never been broken off. And an absolutely beautiful copy of the cattle truck. So these, I have a couple of them in the collection. These are really hard to find in good shape because this whole back end is plastic and the plastic got brittle and it broke. Um, these little tabs that hold the door on in the back a lot of times broke. So it's either missing the door at the rear or it's cracked down along one of these sides. So very, very good shape on this one and hard to find the cattle still on the sprue. So another great find. Super excited about that. Those three um, kind of keeping with the same trend of trucks and construction vehicles and whatnot. We've got a uh, site office, number 60 site office truck. And see if this is as good as everything else has been in this buy. There's the original site hut. Um, original plastic. Looks like it's in really good shape. There's no scratches or dings or nothing on it. Um, box is amazing. Got a little, little divot here. Now, honestly, I think that's actually from shipping. Um, if I had any complaint on this is all of these were just kind of thrown in one big box and weren't wrapped separate. Um, so I think that's probably from something sitting on it during, during the shipping. So we'll see if I can press that out. But the truck here, really good shape. Look at that. All the shiny chrome plastic on the bottom. Again, I always look at the wheels because the wheels are a very telltale tail sign if something's been played with. And this, you can still see the mold lines, the seams down the middle of the wheels. So again, minty fresh piece and very very excited to have that in the collection another great find up next got a number one mercedes truck i picked up a couple of these recently um and it's it's getting to be time probably for another collection purge i know i've shot a, a video of that in the past kind of how i go through and sort my collection. Uh, now that I'm getting a couple of these models that are duplicates or triplicates in my collection, I probably need to go through and do another purge. So watch for that uh, in an upcoming video. But this number one box here, really good shape. Um, nice crisp on the cardboard, all tabs, everything's intact. And the model also just as good. Very shiny on the, the chrome plastics. No play wear on the wheels, no high edge wear, anything anywhere. All the windscreens, everything are intact. So really good shape and has the original plastic topper. Um, I can always tell original versus the reproductions because the reproductions are slightly different shade of orange and they're a soft plastic and this is not soft. It's, it's the hard rigid plastic. So I know that's original. So another a great find. That one, and then let's see. I'm sure I can find one more construction vehicle in here. Here we go. 
Got a number 58 matchbox series draught excavator. So I'm gonna be careful with this box. It's got a little surface wear on it. Oh, dang it. I was really hoping this would have the original treads and it. It does have the, it has the pieces of the original treads or some of the pieces of the original treads are in the box here. So that's usually what I expect um, to find on some of these older models. Uh, the rubber on these just was not not made to last, so it gets very dry, very brittle, and, and this is what I'm used to finding is pieces of the original treads. So uh, this box, like I said, it's it's got a little more wear. We've got starts of some tears on the corners there. Uh, another little tear down there. Not quite as good as some of these others, but uh, no major issues. Altogether, not too bad a shape on that. All the tabs are there. And the model, besides missing the treads, uh, looks pretty good as well. This one has a couple little dings and scratches here around. Definitely not quite as minty as some of these other ones, but um, if it was played with, it was played with very, very gently. You can see kind of along the edge there, that's the other, you know, as a, as a kid, when you're playing with it, you're gonna run it along, you're gonna use it like an excavator. So the wear I usually expect on these is right here on the bottom of the bucket. So not quite as good as some of the other ones, but um, still not a bad piece and it's all intact. Uh, can get some replacement treads for that and that'll shine up to be a nice little collection piece. So that's gonna do it for this week. Um, remember, this is just a part two in a, a multi-part series of this uh, collection. Wanted to have enough time to go through these without making you know a video that was two hours long. So uh, thanks so much for joining me this week. As always, if you like the video, give us a like. Click the subscribe button if you want to keep up with this and all of our future videos. And as always, join us next week for another vintage diecast restoration.